Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Steven, and today we're going to be reacting to How to Be Boss Season 2, Episode 3, X's and O's. Let's get into this and find out what antics we got going on in hell. And it said I lost two pounds this week. I am not. I love how she just looked him up and down and just rolled her eyes. Great response. I mean, you're not fat. He's really not. But Blitz always calls him fat. Why is Millie so pissed that she just kicked in a door? <laughs> Babe, are you okay? Are you okay? And a bigger cock. Wait, what? Every time I'll say his stupid he just bragged about how he has a bright future, and he has money, and a bigger cock. What? Did you get, like, toxic duty? That will not be necessary. I'd like to meet you and your whole crew at my estate. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's Mo It's Moxie's dad. It's Moxie's dad. It's the mob. I this is my favorite episode. Our business venture, I'm sure, will be very worth your time. Ooh. Bro, this is one of my favorite episodes. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Crack. Enough with the walls, shit. We have a door. Damn, now all his pictures are gonna fly away. No, honestly though, I get we're in hell. Stop breaking the wall. Like go through the door, land the helicopter, and we'll come outside. Why you gotta break the door? Why you gotta break the wall? Like legit, why? It makes no sense. Bro made another hole in the fucking wall. Uh, such a good driver. Such a good driver. I grew up just over there. Swore I'd never come back. And uh. And uh, we're going back right now, Moxie. Daddy, a hug. Daddy, I only let. Mo <laughs> no one. I love how Moxie literally told no one. Not his girlfriend. Not his boss. No one. I came from greed. That's all you need to know, just the section that I came from. You don't need to know who my dad was. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You gotta be Blitz with the silent O, right? Yo, actually, nice. He actually called him Blitz and not Blitz-O like most people do. Move it before it gets cold. Look, look, Millie, we can talk about it later. Because he never wanted you to meet his dad, ever. Y'all could have gone your entire lives never coming back here, and Moxie would have been happy. We're still waiting on one more. What is up, Fucking amazing. Fucking great twist. I was talking about. Looks like I have two big sex reunions. No, she did. Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! I love this episode. It was written in stars. Ha! Moxie and the Mafia. That. Yeah, Moxie and the Mafia. What do you think is happening here, Blitz? You're drinking, someone's smoking a cigar, he's having people come over to his house, you're eating before you make talks about business, giving very big Mafia vibes. I first saw Chaz at my induction into the family. Our eyes met from across the room. I love when people do that. I don't really like to talk about this part of my life, but... It was a long time ago, in a place far, far away. They get so into the story, and I fucking love it. It's been 84 years. Isn't that from that boat movie? Did that is from that boat movie. It hasn't been 84 years, babe. But he skipped over the jizz-covered parts. Anyway, things change. <laughs> Why'd you skip over the jizz-covered parts? Those are the best parts. I mean, you got trapped in a gate. What do you expect him to do? He can't lift up the gate. Like, do you want him to just to stay there and get arrested with you? I know that's fucked up, but that's just the truth. I'm just fine. So what you deal? What you do? Who'd you diddle? You look like someone who's good with- Slay. They fucking met in jail. Go off. Time ago. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're her ex and you fucked over her husband. Yeah, she mad. To be sure you'd show. Because, well, we're bringing Chaz into the family. What? Damn. I'm the whole package, if you know what I mean. I got a big We don't care. Yeah, you got a big dick. I don't care. Why did you invite us here then? We'll have the ceremony tomorrow, and then you will be free to leave. I have your rooms all prepared. Yes, sir. Max? Yeah, he's too much of a pussy. He's just gonna say yes, sir, because he's his dad. Like, Moxie grew up just following orders and doing things for the family. I don't understand. You think you're gonna just get to walk away from the- Legit, you, that's just what he's telling Chaz. You think that he's gonna let you walk away? You're his son. You're supposed to take over the family. And it's about time your pathetic ass was useful for something. Sir. So you think that Moxie's gonna marry the shark face dude to get the millions because you need the money? Fuck that. No, number one. And number two, he's probably lying about the millions. It's like you. There's dildos everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Congrats, gay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm bisexual. Yeah, gay. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, bisexual. He likes guys and girls, and like right now he's married to Millie. He loves her. They fuck all the time. I don't know a single person of any sexuality who'd enjoy this. <laughs> There's dicks in the walls. Oh, that's... Blitz. Blitz fucking loves this. His mom didn't love his dad. That's why he's so angry. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Mom left when he was a kid because the dad's abusive. Bro. This is what happens when you cross me. Damn. Did he really kill the wife? That's insanely fucked up. Yes, sir. No, absolutely not. You shoot people all the time now. You work for IMP that kill people all the time. Bring out your fucking gun and shoot your own dad at this point. Because legitimately, all of this, no. No. We're in hell. Fuck that. I would have shot him in the fucking face. And then walked out and been like, Millie, Blitz, we're leaving. What the fucking why? Of course, of course, just pictures of him because he wants you to get used to your new husband. Fuck that. No. Like what I've done with the Oh my god, really? No, I don't like that you made a fucking cum zone, bro. Like legitimately, I would have been left. I don't care. Like, I get it, it's the Mafia, he's afraid of his dad, I get all that. You have to stand up to him at a certain point. Like, you literally kill people for a living now. It ain't that big of a deal. Fucking kill the guards and kill, like, shoot this man, honestly. But no, uh, kill the guards if you have to and just leave. Like, your dad wants you to marry him because your family's in trouble? Why is your family in trouble? Because your dad doesn't know how to take care of the family business? Y'all were doing fine before. What happened? Why did we have to make a cum zone? And why are there three fucking barrels of lube? How much lube do you need? No, no, I hate it. I hate it so much. Please stop. Good job, see, stand up for yourself. He's horny and he wants to fuck. Do all the things they liked in the sack. Deal. Yeah, deal. Today, Blitz is gonna get down to the bottom of it. He was bad in bed? Oh yeah. Nah. Nah. Why was he bad?
Dat. Yep. Yeah. Ebek should notice Dat knew it. Knew he was lying. Me. No. Oh. Sorry, babe. You aren't the only. No. Nah, he did catch you, though. I mean, we all knew he was lying, right? Come on. It's your wedding day. Best day of your life. I'm not doing it. Why would I love you, Moxie. I love you so much. Good job. You'll learn firsthand just how good I've gotten at my job. <laughs> yeah, of course his guard's just gonna electrocute you. Know? Like, tase you, knock you out. Fuck that. But, like, you should have seen that coming. You ain't gotten that good at your job, then. <laughs> Millie's a fucking monster and i love her millie is quick smart she's fast and very strong and feisty like she don't give up and she's really fucking good at killing i love millie everything's locked down how are we gonna get in break chaz's car let's do it all of y'all are gonna die She's so fucking amazing, bro. I love her so much. She literally rips people's spines out. Like, there's no hesitation with her. You don't fuck with Millie and Moxie. That's me. I'm the priest. I'm just like, let me drop the book. Fuck this. I'm out. Goodbye. That's right, wave your hand, bitch. Be afraid. You could have killed Chaz and killed the dad. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, man. You were trying to forcefully marry your son, make him dress like a girl, put dicks everywhere in the house, and, like, take this man's money because you guys are broke when he was lying in the first place. You're both liars. Fuck you both. That great. Now we all fuck the same guy. That's Blitz's favorite part. He's like, now we all fuck the same guy. Bonded forever. Yeah, of course he killed Chaz. He, why wouldn't he? Okay, so if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Please hit that like button. That means the world to me. Maybe subscribe. I will say, like, it's hell. Like, if demons die, they just come back, don't they? So, like, he kills them and then they just reappear somewhere else, don't they? I thought that's how it worked. Like, you can't just die in hell, because if you die, you come back. That's kind of the whole point. You could just die. The, I, I don't know. Not trying to poke holes in it, but I don't think the mafia really works that well in hell, man. Probably every single person that he's killed has reappeared somewhere else as a new demon. And, like, their soul is still the same. They're just doing other shit, just avoiding you now. That's That's what I would do. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that, like, they come back? Or, like, if you die in hell, you die? I feel like we've seen people die and come back. Like, in Husband Hotel, we've seen people be, like, ripped apart and come back. It just takes time. So, like, they've got to come back eventually. But I guess, like, if the body's at the bottom of the ocean, then, like, they come back alive and then just re-drown over and over again. So that's their hell? That could be it. I don't know. That's actually really fucked up. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, y'all stay nice, late. Let's stay together. Bye.